are we temples of the Holy Spirit? Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Today's feast is the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome, which is very much a significant part of the history of the Church. It is the oldest church in the West, constructed in the 4th century, rebuilt and renovated many times over the centuries. The Basilica is considered the Cathedral Church of the Pope, the Bishop of Rome, and the pastor of the Universal Church. And as the Pope's Cathedral, it stands as the mother church of the whole world, ranking above all other churches, including St. Peter's Basilica. Today's Gospel reading is all about Jesus in the Temple in Jerusalem, which was considered the house of God in His time. The Gospel reading for today's feast brings to mind the saying, that sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. The temple was the most important institution and building in Jewish life, the place where God dwelt among His people, where He made Himself known, instructed His people, and received their worship. But on this day, Jesus is angered to see His Father's house being used like a marketplace. The people of God are filling the house of God not with respect and prayer, but with disorder and greed. Jesus cannot allow this to go on, and in His justified anger, He drives them all out and knocks over their money tables, cleansing the temple of all that was not of God. Let me relate to you my experience during the first day of our recent Marian pilgrimage. The last site for the day was our visit to the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Paris, France. The Basilica is located at the summit of Montmartre Hill and it overlooks the entire city of Paris. It was consecrated in 1919 after World War I. The Basilica contains a number of architectural and artistic attractions, and people who visit are just content in marveling at them, taking pictures, and many do not even stop and say a prayer. This was not my first visit to the Basilica, but this time, I was able to simply fix my eyes on the Sacred Heart statue and the symbol of the Eucharist above the altar for a long time, which filled my heart with so much gratitude for all the blessings my family and I have received from the love of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. This atmosphere of contemplative prayer lasted for about an hour, and the tiring 22-hour flight from Manila to Paris, and all the activities of the day didn't matter so much, and we ended the day on a high note as we started our journey of encounter with Jesus and Mama Mary. Now back to our Gospel story. Jesus, in driving out the money changers, overturning their tables and cleansing the temple with all that was not of God, reveals to us how He sometimes works in our own lives. When we have lost sight of our purpose, have gotten caught up in the things of the world, or gotten off track through ignorance, through ignorance and sin, 
Jesus sends, sets into motion what may seem harsh to us, but which is a discipline administered out of His love and mercy. As Catholics, we know that we were created by God as sacred temples in whom He wants to dwell. But often, we misuse the temple. It is only when we confess our sins that Jesus can cleanse us and restore the sacredness in us. My dear brothers and sisters, as the season of Advent approaches, let us once again examine how we have taken care of the temple of our body and beg for God's grace to cleanse us from all our sins. And let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear Jesus, may your grace be upon us that we may keep our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. And whenever we fail, may the sacrament of your love and mercy cleanse us from all wrongdoing that you may dwell once again in us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families. May God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.